Hello everyone, this is Nat Narsanabekin and welcome back to The Last Door Season 2. I just finished taking a break, going to the toilet, and now I'm back here in front of the computer. And we're gonna go in the second episode because I can't leave this intense story behind. Uh, hopefully this is the next one I'll be able to chop it into two again, evenly. But, mm, we'll just continue. Previously. Yeah, just in case you don't remember from the last episode, we'll play from here. We'll read from here, sorry. Wakefield and Kaufman allowed the only clue they had on David's location. The recip <coughs> recipient of Anthony's disturbing letter, Alexander Dupre. Wakefield visited the asylum, East Hill Asylum, Asylum, <laughs> to get her some information on Dupree's past. Wakefield discovered that Tukri was the leader of the secret society known as the Playwright. He learned that they are pra they practice rituals with the goal of peering through the veil, the line that separates the common world from the outer void of horrors. One of East Hill's patients turned out to be the member of the Playwright, that crazy lady. She escaped the asylum. Wakefield and Kaufman followed her to the hideout, a cabin in the mountains, when suddenly a flock of birds appeared. Don't kill her. We need her alive. I must forget nothing. Is this the second member? Am I looking for Jarati? Everything must be set. I swear I think I'm looking for Jarati. <clears throat> when the time comes. Are you going to explode the mine? You idiot! I am visited. And I am visited again. You're a fool. That's a very short intro. <coughs> I keep clicking out the window, why? For a moment, the sky was dark, and the lady was dead. We heard the calls of a thousand birds, but another ro sound rose above them. A sound I cannot describe. What? Screaming? <laughs> Fuck! She's dead. Where's Miss Conehey? We are too late. Ashes. Burned? John hastily on her. She thought it could prevent what she knew of what was about to happen, but she was wrong. She was killed by the birds! Thanks. It looks as if you're trying to keep someone from entering. Or someone from getting out. I don't know what to make of this. I don't either! I do. You do! Explain! <coughs> hmm? Ah, nice tea. Let's insult each other. <laughs> insult simulator. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is nothing, mine friend. I just a bit of cold. Oh my god, I Im immediately my brain goes to the insult simulator. Oh god. The one with Jack Septic guy and uh, Pixel Pit. <laughs> Pixel Pit is really ad is really ad adorably innocent in this g in this uh, in the videos there. Oh man, <clears throat> ouch, my leg. <laughs> Something I cannot describe. It's adorable. <laughs> now, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Okay, I should write that down. So, uh, mine from because <clears throat> I'm still not sure how do you write the things on the from a German's um, accent or German side kind of speech, as, as I said in the last 
<coughs> couple of videos I'm trying to write something about t t yeah. um, Team Fortress 2 and medics medics um, apart from sniper and <coughs> apart from sniper and Tavish apart from snipefish uh, snipefish <laughs> <laughs> sniper, <laughs> sniper, and demos accent, which are really hard. Um, the German one I'm not really used to. I have a Ger I used to have a German classmate, classmate during high school, but she never spoke too much German. She had the accent, but it's not as deep as her father's. Although her father was not always around, so I couldn't observe that much. Or couldn't actually hear them talking that much. Because even when they spoke in English, it was really good. Their English accent was really good. It covered up very well. <coughs> so I couldn't really study it properly. And now I'm having a hard time I'm trying to research accents. I think we should talk. In the light of the events we have recently witnessed, the matter cannot be delayed any further. You must t make an important decision. It is not yet too late. Oh, he doesn't have disease. I I know this in some <clears throat> in some of the words when medics speak in Team Fortress. He has some of them that ha the T becomes a Z. Oh, like a Zat, Z, something like that. Or the W become a V. <clears throat> No, you're too late to go back to your daily lives. If you don't want to, want to continue, you must forget all about your patient, Jem Jemiah David. You will see the I I am <coughs> the V is the W over here. If you if you hear uh, the medics version, <coughs> unless this the character really spoke good English like the ones I've mentioned. The <coughs> so yeah, you will have to keep yourself to yourself everything you have learned about the mystery mystery of your, his disappearance and never talk about it again but should you wish to continue in this search you will need to accept the consequences whatever it may be please do not make take this decision lightly the path ahead is not without peril you know my answer already Kaufman I must know what happened to David <coughs> so be it then as you may have already realized wait wouldn't that mean you're also involved you would get also the consequences too <coughs> The, this matter involving your patient transcends the limits of psychiatry as we know it. We are dealing with the effects of trauma or the demon with the of the subconscious. At least, <clears throat> not in the terms we are used to. We are dealing with something old, something dark, dark magic. A sinister truth that has been buried deep for generations. I really should stop that. The accent. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. This man, Alex Dupre, damn it, <laughs> his organization. I think they seek to uncover these secrets. I fear they have, might have already. Can you stop with the accent? Miss Cornhay, fate, whatever it was, must be related somehow. But my knowledge of this area is not, is simply not sufficient. <clears throat> uh, we must pay a visit to an old friend, someone I never thought I would want to see again. The man who introduced me to the, the extended scientific field of the cult. My mentor, Professor Adam Wright. Not left. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I keep doing that too whenever I play Phoenix, right? My sister gets annoyed. My dearest visitor. Wickport. Are these names... Place names actually real. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> I doubt he is away at this time of the day. Perhaps he cannot hear us from the front. Let us try the back door. Why am I doing that? I still have the accent! <clears throat> what in holy mother? Miss Awkward. She's the man man's housekeeper. I stab the floor. <laughs> yes, who is it? I am digging up the snow. Good morning, Mrs. Awkward. Do you want to remember me? Why, Dr. Kaufman, bless my soul. It's been so long I hardly recognize you. It's nice to see you again. Allow me to introduce my colleague, Dr. John Wakefield. Is the professor at home? We would like to see him. 
Why, yes, doctor, of course. I am quite forgetting myself. Let me take you to him. It is really good of you to come. He receives so few visitors these days on account of his condition. His condition. <coughs> oh, sir, I am right. Sorry. I thought you knew. The professor, he suffers so, so from an alien to ailment ailment afflicting his brain he is now entirely confined to his bed strapped down oh uh, professor Wright you have visitors one of them is your old friend look look do you recognize him it is Johan professor your old poop here I reckon he does remember you Johan it has been a long time since I have seen him so excited I will leave you two to the professor the doctor professor it may be difficult to keep him on one subject for so long but oh it does seem such a word of good to speak with old friends and then we'll come when you come back we'll destroy this brain already or it's dead or missing should you need my assistance i will be in the backyard and how are you receiving pay <coughs> professor uncle james damn it <laughs> it is i professor johan Kaufman. Where is father? Where has he been taken? Oh no. I'm sorry, memory loss. It's old age, damn it! You'll not tell us much in this state. If we could but stimulate his memories. Maybe then he could tell us of his research. Something to unravel the mystery of the playwright. We have few others in option in this case. Let us try. Why don't you try exploring the matter? There might be some object we can use to jog the memory. Damn it, we're gonna kill him! <clears throat> we should search together. That could also help him remember. You're just gonna keep breaking your own heart, you know? Oh my god. You can get almost no sleep. Oh man. <coughs> Damn it! I can hear my phone. Oh boy. <laughs> my neighbor <laughs> called on my phone. She was asking if my daughter's awake because her, 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 her grandson was, was bored. <laughs> oh no. My da my daughter and her grandson go to the same school, and we also go to the same um, church. So, and we're also next door neighbor. Oh, not next door neighbor. Next building neighbor. So we're practically <laughs> practically close right now. And then, oh my gosh! Ah, sorry, my daughter is still sleeping. I'm sorry, little little little. Um, I'm not gonna say his name. How am I gonna say it? I'm sorry, little boy. <laughs> oh my god. Tiny is still sleeping. At the painting of the ocean. Black on the beach. Is that Robin Hood? I just saw now another one here, right? <clears throat> Damn it! Attic. Not attic. Oil painting shows an obscure medieval scene. Oh, it's open. Wait, I don't want to go in yet. Old stone tower depicted in the painting. The red, torn vines have slithered across the entrance, forming a swarming blockade that almost seems to come alive when stared at for far too long. <clears throat> okay, not open. Oh, nothing. Okay, let's go in. <clears throat> This is a toilet. Not a bad toilet. A regular and strangely disordered. Is it not Voldemort in there? <coughs> Large porcelain tub. Oh, nice. Good for a hot tub. Hefty weight supported on four blackened iron feet. A thin ring of damp residue around its interior suggests recent use. Okay, who has been taking a bath? Radiator heater. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the tone of music suddenly changing? This porcelain jar containing some dried branches. 
Wait, what happened to my things? Oh god. According to Professor Wright, his appearance was quite different back then, an imposing and exquisite figure. Hello? I can't see, damn it! Collection. Oh, this is a library! Okay, now I can finally see. <clears throat> From old adventure novels to three T's on the occult. Science, some of these titles have been forbidden by the crown. What now? Don't uh, then go to the sheet one. In the first, and then in the end, and then Ah! Stupid dad! <coughs> Use your own, use your own keyboard. Don't come over here and just to take a keyboard out of my computer. This satellite business. You want to use a keyboard? Borrow the one who you're trying to install the thing with. They everybody every house has at least one keyboard now. Don't come here and take my keyboard. You're not gonna return it back. You're not gonna return it back in one piece. Globe, the period of the f uh, judging by the shape of the uh, continents, this must drive from the fictional world of some kind of prehistoric era. Dinosaurs? <gasps> oh my gosh! <coughs> Nope, no more crows, no more crows. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Tin soldier. Oh, okay, okay, let's take it, let's take it. Wait, what's on the front? Nothing? Just outside. Great. <coughs> Can I take it? Okay. I wasn't going to look at the water. I wanted to look in there. Older than the manor. I'll be happy if there's a tree like that. <clears throat> in my place, older than the manor or older than the house. Then I have a history to tell. Let's remove the mask. There's an empty hole where your face should be. <gasps> Portrays a clergyman behind his face. Again with the masks? Portrays a cloak figure holding a lay vessel. That's a small hole in it, just an art. See a metal object. Can I not take it? <clears throat> Why is everything so weird? <laughs> Just throw the shovel down the floor. May I ask you something? <clears throat> How did the professor become afflicted? <clears throat> Ruins his family, the stuff from the wall, and his father and his mother. Oh, it's genetic. Trouble to everything and to think of all these years, Mr. Wright knew what would become of him. May God pity on his soul. That was, what do you know of the systems? I cannot speak those very long words physicians use. <laughs> Scientific. But I can tell you what I see in him. Professor Hyde hardly remembers a thing from the last 40 years. 
It's like he's a child again. With God's mercy, he's now gone so far. Oh, God. Went back 40 years. Ay, yeah. Poor memory. Oh, we can bake bread. Filled with spices and pickled food. Basement. Ooh. <clears throat> Let's go. Where is this? Damn it! You think I'll be professional by now? Everybody keeps calling. What's this? Oh, okay. I didn't pass by here earlier, so good thing. Damn it. Ah, damn it. Would everybody stop calling? I need to find keys for the basement and the attic. <clears throat> and that other door, I don't know. Would this soil soldier be inflicting? Sergeant Downing was sent to the fort. The man that returned was not Sergeant Downing. But this visitor, he will know where to look. Oh, what time we will have. What do you mean? <clears throat> and he will know it. The Book of Travels. The one on the globe? Book of Travels? Yes, he will work it out. It must, must need to, is he? No, he will find the prize, I am sure. Conceal something precious in his idol. Could have hidden away parts of his research. Always a proud man, he would not easily have forgotten his most groundbreaking work. A sense of this grave importance at least would have remained. In his confusion, perhaps he has hold it somewhere for this dearest visitor to, to find. Why don't for the mire? Jeez. Yeah, yeah, we're doing all the work. Now let's go back to the library. So, book of travels. Go back to the library. There's one on the page. <clears throat> okay, we begin by crossing the unforgiving desert. So, it's a path. Facing, always facing the sun. Last, we arrived at the merciful side of the great ocean. We followed the coast north. Goes the coast and into Chicago. <coughs> oh god. Great ocean, coast, north, and uh, searching of our home. <coughs> oh god, I can't keep doing that. Burping everywhere. The land, the king of the land we had trans traversed had declared war on Great Khan. What? Chris Tucker, I blame you for this. <laughs> we were forced. We never set a foot on the bloody land again. We know there was a port south. We could find a boat. Sea voyage was short. Southern winds. Eastern Cape and landed there. So, Eastern Cape. That's it. Oh boy. This is not work! Desert. Wait. God damn it! Whenever you hear static, it's going to electrocute my ears in, in my headphone. 
So whenever it starts, and then my ears jolts, and then I have to click off and on the mute in the sound button on my headphones. Oh. <clears throat> Never happened before. Samik! <clears throat> okay. Begin again. <laughs> Unforgiving desert. Wait, I need to go back. Great ocean. North. So, the uh, one, two, the from the desert going east. No, west. Sorry. Always facing the sun, yeah, because the sun's always landing from the start from the east, going down to land to the west. So we're going west, and then we're going north. <coughs> Another transfer to Clearwater and Can, so you're forced to remain. Bloody land again. South, go down south. And then we go up, and reach Eastern Cape. Okay, so desert. This, 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 this. All right. No. No. No? Really? What? Okay. Okay. Things are triggered in my hidden mechanism. A small compartment has been opened. Okay. To my dearest visitor. 
Okay. Go out! I found the letter. This is a visitor. Let's see what is inside. Should we not read it elsewhere? Part of the in intricate riddle, but to what purpose? To conceal something, perhaps, or at least get the confused or drowning mind. Increasing, I am increasingly of the opinion that this is some met mental construct, some riddle conjured up by the conjured up by the professor's failing mind. He not even understood what it meant. Those seeking wisdom must first know their own foolishness. Reflect on yourself in the heat of passion and re reveal what a cold eye does not see. Oh, 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 um, um. Oh, let's read it again. Um, toilet. <coughs> that be yeah, it's something in here, right? Um, I need to turn on this. I need to turn on the heater. Come on, man! It's something related with the toilet! Come on, man! It's the only one with the toilet and mirror! Maybe need some lights. Not that light. Do have a matchbox? Since we're in this time period, it's only about matchbox now. Why can't I fast click this one? Oh, you're here. Can I take it? Static. Didn't I ask you something? Do you have any riddles? Oh, sorry. Yes, he has. He has been long and enthusiastic of every mind game you can imagine. Better days would host parties every other month. Seems so always he calls them. Oh, there were good times. It seems so long now. Okay. It would actually be in great help. Various ingredients. Ah, uh, basement. You have any sticks? How about outside? None. Lion. Hmm. Can I put the pot there? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, why did I go so far? <coughs> oh, there. Thank you. Can I boil this? Thanks. Um, here. Jesus Christ. 
Can't I put the pot first before I boil? It's much safer that way. Thank you. And I have to put the hot water in my butt. Okay. And now let's use the toilet. Now will this do? Oh <gasps> my god! God, yes! In the page of the real knowledge that Coli of Logic doesn't see. Condensation, condensation from the teapot steam has revealed a hidden message. I'll add this to the letter. Knowing yourself, you may look upon your master. Meet his imposing gaze and seek to understand what lies beneath. Thereby learn the question, if not the final answer. What the fuck does that mean? Dude, I learned another riddle. Come on, man. Okay, fine. Let's start brain racking again. I need to look for the master. Are you sure it's not in the mirror? This guy? Look upon your master. Meet not only his imposing gaze, but seek to understand what lies beneath. So it's something under the picture. Just key taped in the back in the note. The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower. The answer yearns up to it from the root of life in time itself. Question is the world from the peak of the man's tallest tower. Root of life in time itself. Couldn't have just gone the other way instead. <coughs> Let me read that again. The question is the world from the peak of man's tallest tower. Man's tallest tower. Is there such a thing in the house? the music stop carving an old ornament some kind of round mechanism what's this guided pipe runs from the strange device to the floor below The 
Anto yearns up to it from the very fruit of life. Okay. So to check the tree. Anything else? Why am I solving all these riddles? Almost forgot the way. <laughs> Yeah, good in hiding his riddles. Not a note a key in a bond together. It is a truth our ancestors knew, but the stone silence came to unknown. Shit. Oh no. Oh no, not that door. Please let it not be that door. Entering the nice jaws of time of horror. What a horror! Everything is a horror in this room. And the bird is black with a yellow beak. There's a sign of the face too as well. Stone silence came to me. Don't tell me that stone statue is out again. Take this. Will you at last know the truth? What did I open? Did I open? Uh. 
<sighs> I, I know I like to be in the dark, but this is too much. I need at least some human company. What did I open? in here now experiments 1885 let us see have a look at this be careful there's a small key inside the folder August 1865 results at last after many months of tedious observation something has finally come from the other side heard the sounds of the sound of footsteps of during the proximity of the stone archway. This would seem to verify my hypothesis. Absolute horror is the key that we see. September 20. September 20. Now that they have proven themselves useful, I have installed two new devices on the outer tunnel. I dare not go deeper. I have not heard it again, but I know the thing must still be down there. Tunnels breached. I have no choice but to abort the experiment. It can no longer be controlled. There is one but one there's one bad one thing that I'll seal the tunnel and hope that the abomination remains forever. Okay. Seems that were kept during one of his experiments almost seven years ago. Okay. It must be some kind of hallucination. We are not done the jumps conclusion that the con professor had worked done our working place under now. We know I'll keep looking through these documents. There must be something. But okay. <laughs>